Um, the expertise comes in the fact that so many of the teachers have different backgrounds, and I think that's really important in the luxury industry. A lot of people think it's just you're looking at nice handbags all day and <laughs> talking about them and whatnot. For example, my marketing teacher, he's just this amazing background. Like he was um, a, a buyer and purchaser for Topshop, and so that's you know a really relevant brand, especially for my generation. So to hear you know his firsthand experience, for example, being a merchandiser and a, a purchaser at Topshop is just amazing and um, it's kind of invaluable information because he's sharing his own anecdotes and not just you know teaching by the book but mm -hmm. incorporating his own experiences so it's one example because oh. not every program director ha has her own family name on the jacket she's wearing <laughs> hmm? with a heritage brand can founded I get one in of those? 1887 yeah where can i buy your jacket <laughs> sorry <laughs> yes you can okay. actually <laughs> You know, I, I have a, pre a background both as an academic and a professional mm -hmm. coming from an heritage, a uh, small brand, but an heritage brand. So uh, I do know uh, this, this field from, from when I was born, actually. And I try to put this double background for all of my teachers and for all of my students. Mm -hmm. So it's really kind of my core competence, you know, being, being both an academic with a PhD and whatever and a professional and this is the way I try to rule uh, my, my program. I chose this program because I wanted something like you were mentioning a little bit more specialized. Um, I didn't just want to go into business and then try to make my own leap into the luxury industry because that seems quite daunting especially because it is becoming a little bit more competitive um, especially for graduates. Um, so for me, again, the specialization was really intriguing and then um, we might bring it up later, but we have the study trip and other kind of incorporated aspects into the, the pedagogy and into the classroom that made it um, really appealing to me. The first is placement, because my goal is to find a good placement for the students and I think my students are here to find a good placement, <laughs> because uh, we are going to organize a, a whole Louis Vuitton day. So uh, you really do make them work hard? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah we do, <laughs> but then they can party hard, but yes. that's not my problem, you know, afterward. <laughs> and um, so we have mm -hmm. a LV day and where the two classes from Paris and Grenoble will work together and now they have to analyze, you know, to do some mystery shopping and analyze actually, actually the experience inside the Louis Vuitton stores, possibly all around the world, and then they will analyze and make recommendation to Vuitton and the recruiters and the HR from Vuitton are going to, to join us on the 12th of March. And so this is, you know, quite a, a real world project. Yeah.